know you were expecting a WIT Wednesday, but um, not enough weird, bizarre products were found. So I'm here with something else. Um, and this is equally exciting. I am doing a first impressions uh, unpacketing and review of the Forever 21 makeup sponges. Um, I do open it up and I show you uh, whether these products work or not. Um, so if this excites you, then please keep on watching. So the sponges come in a packet like this, which you will see, and then I uh, tear it open. There are three sponges in this, and um, these are this is how they look before they've you know been dampened. Now there are no instructions on the packaging. Um, it says nothing at all, so we just wing it, which is basically go with what we do with normal makeup sponges. So I did go ahead and dampen it, and all of them double in size. I am going to use um, this on one half of my face and then this oddly shaped object <laughs> in the other half of my face. I am using a foundation that I'm really used to because um, like in economics you keep something stagnant to make sure that the other things are working or that's how you know other things are working. Whatever, I mean, it's a lot of gyan but that's what it is. I'm keeping this constant so we actually know if this is working because we already know this works. Hmm. Not bad at all. Very comfortable. It feels a lot like the Beauty Blender. And I do think it offers a decent amount of coverage as well. It is shearing out the product a little bit, but this product is kind of um, does shear out. Okay, moving on to this side of the face, I'm using this one. And like right off the bat, this one's definitely heavier and feels a lot more like you know like you're hurting your face in some way but it's not bad it's actually making the product look quite nice i do like how it's um making the product sit, sink into my um skin both of these have made sure that that product's not just sitting there it's not sitting on the top of my skin so that's a good thing so i am going in with this this i thought was the most appropriate the point is slightly off center and it troubles me because i'm weird I think I'll go in with the concealer with this side. I think it should work. A concealer, which we are generous with because have you seen the dark circles? Okay. I am starting to use this bit of this because nothing is really, this is not fitting in right. I'm going, I'm squeezing this bit to actually get my concealer done right. It's not applied my product well. I don't like that. It's kind of patchy. I don't think my concealer has gone on too well. Again, this is a concealer that I use regularly, so I know it goes on pretty well. I'm not entirely sure I like how this is looking. At this. Uh, let's get into a review. I absolutely love this one. As you can tell, when I did apply the product with this, I enjoyed how it felt on my face. It is not dense. You know, when you buy cheap makeup sponges, they tend to be really dense and they almost feel like they're, you know, stamping your face. This one doesn't do that. It feels really soft and it feels really comfortable. And most importantly, it applies product really well. So I'm really impressed with this one. Could it be a dupe for the Beauty Blender? Yes, I, I think so. With these two, I'm on the fence, okay? Um, this one is, well, first of all, weirdly shaped, but uh, this one kind of uh, feels like you're hitting your face. It is more dense than uh, this one for sure. And it's not as much fun to use. Also, I, I don't think this can this bit can be used for any part of the face. I just, I can't figure it out. So maybe not this one as much as, you know, I liked this one. Now, the purple one just, it threw me off my game completely because the shape is so weird. So obviously, because I thought this was a pointed tip, I thought I could use it under my eyes. You see that I apply concealer with it. Um, but like I said in uh, the demo as well, this apply product really patchily. And uh, this one actually doesn't fit into the crevices of my eye like it's not like it's comfortable to put concealer or anything so I'm not sure um, what purpose it serves um, it is softer it certainly is softer than this and it doesn't feel like you're hitting your face but I'm, I'm not sure what you'd use it for so maybe not but for 539 rupees if you can get even just this absolutely worth it like absolutely worth it if you've been wondering whether to invest in the beauty blender and always are kind of like hmm, maybe i don't want to spend so much this could be your answer this forever 21 makeup sponge could be your budget friendly option so if you like this video then please hit the thumbs up
Uh, please leave a comment. If you've also found some dupes for the beauty blender, some pocket friendly options, please let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel because I'm at 92. I'm looking to get to 100 and you can help me get there. And uh, please, of course, um, share this with friends and family. Everyone loves a budget friendly option. So tell them about this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Um, this, this pointed bitch with bitch. Whoopsie. This really had, had hard. This original size of something that looks like a Russian doll. <laughs>